welcome back to today's video so before we get into anything if you have not subscribed yet to my channel I hope that you will subscribe it's a first link down below in my description box and make sure you guys turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and one more thing I do want to mention YouTube has been so weird lately I've heard people tell me that they're being unsubscribed from my channel they're not being notified of when I upload it just really stinks, um, especially for creators, just because we pour so much into making these videos and just a lot goes into it. Um, yeah, it's just kind of frustrating. So my advice would be to make sure you guys are following me on social media. So just pick whatever platform you are on, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. I always post on Facebook. I post like multiple times there. Just make sure you guys are following me on social media. I will put the links here on the screen and they are always in my description box down below. But if you guys follow me, it'll just be so much easier to be notified about when I actually upload just so you guys don't miss out. And we can't forget, I have to do my notification squad shout out. So today's notification squad shout out goes to Randy Keen. I'll put your message somewhere here on the screen. And thank you so much, Randy, for having your notification bell turn on. You are awesome. So as you guys probably saw in the title today, I'm talking about the top 10 beauty and makeup items that you can get at the Dollar Tree and I know a lot of people do shop at the Dollar Tree and I'm there like pretty much every week because I like to see what kind of makeup they have but I'm sure some of you guys are wondering like what is actually good from the Dollar Tree because there's a lot of stuff and some of it let's face it isn't so great but there are a few hidden gems in there and I was determined to find out which products were actually really good and worked and I'm actually wearing Dollar Tree makeup on my eyes today and my lips it turned out really good I'm like super impressed so if you guys want to find out what my top 10 Dollar Tree makeup and beauty item favorites are and I'm also gonna be telling you guys some products that I think you should probably stay away from too because there were a couple that were just like not so good <laughs> so if you guys want to find out what I have to say about this Dollar Tree makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this first one is a hair item, and I wanted to talk about this because it's actually really good. So it is the VO5 Herbal Escapes Kiwi Lime Squeeze Clarifying Shampoo. So why do I love this? Because my hair always has a lot of buildup and it gets really greasy in the roots. So my roots will be greasy and then the ends will be a little bit more dry because I have color on the bottom. So this I love for getting out like all that dry shampoo and any sort of like hairspray, gunk buildup that I have going on in my hair. So a clarifying shampoo is great for like once a week and this one is a dollar and of course a dollar and it's very simple, it's basic, it gets the job done and VO5 has been around in the hair game for so, so long you guys. Like I remember in college um, we learned about VO5 hair products because I went to school for cosmetics and fragrance marketing so there was a lot of like beauty history. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying this out if you get really like oily, greasy, roots like I do and if you like use a lot of dry shampoo you're gonna want to clarify at least once a week okay moving on to what's on my eyes today so this palette definitely surprised me this is the LA colors playful six color eyeshadow palette and this is what I'm wearing today so when you first look at it it's kind of like mm, I don't know like they're all shimmers there's no mattes in here so that's what stinks about it, but honestly, for a dollar, like, I made it work. And you can totally make this work. Um, this palette, it actually is pretty creamy to the touch when you feel in the shadows. Like, they're not bad shadows. Like, I've used worse. So, you can make this work. I actually did a little bit of, like, a faux cut crease today. I like that there's, like, warm tones in here. I stayed in these three shadows right here. So, I used this, even though it has a little bit of sheen to it. I used that in the crease. I used this in the outer V and I kind of just worked it in there and it totally worked and I like the way that my eyes turned out today. I was looking and I was like, ooh, that is Dollar Tree? So this I think is pretty decent. It didn't just blend away to nothing. The color actually stayed put when I placed it on my eye, which I was like not expecting. I thought it was just going to blend away. They would be really muddy. So all I did was I put this shade in the middle. It's kind of like an orangey, light orangey shade. I put that all over in the crease with a fluffy crease brush. And then I took a smaller crease brush and I put this deeper warm orangey shade like in the crease kind of just because I wanted to do a cut crease look. And then I took this shade which is really pretty. It's like a plummy shimmery color and I put that in the outer corner and it 
came out really nice so overall this palette is not of course the best in the world but we're talking Dollar Tree here so it did the job I made it work and I actually ended up really liking it this is another product from LA color which is a brand you will find a lot at the Dollar Tree and this is their shimmering loose eyeshadow with brush so this is in the shade snow white and I'm a sucker for a shimmery white powder or eyeshadow because I love putting it on my inner corners. I always like to have a white shimmery shade on my inner corners. So the packaging on this is actually terrible. So when you open it up, it has this like brush and then you can't get to any of the product because it's deep in there. It doesn't have any sort of opening. So the packaging is just kind of like terrible um i wish it was open but what i do is i'm just gonna like get rid of this brush and since there's a tiny little slit in there i just take some and i work it into the cap the product is actually really really nice i like this eyeshadow so since i wanted to do kind of like a cut crease i put concealer all over my eye so it has something to stick to because this is so shimmery it's nice for it to have something to grab onto so i took this and i applied it all over where i put the concealer and i actually like the way that the eyes came out with that white on the lid um, usually I don't do a white all over my eye, but I thought it looked really pretty kind of with the cut crease. There is a little bit of fallout with the shimmery powder. Like I just looked at my face in the mirror and I saw some specks on my face. So if you're going to use this, just make sure you use it before you put on foundation because you're going to have a glittery fallout. And I think it just kind of gives an overall very like ethereal look to the eye. I wouldn't really use this as like a highlighter just because there is a bit of shimmer in there and it might get stuck in your pores might accentuate your pores but yeah i think this is a really nice loose powder and i definitely want to try out more colors of these next favorites are wet n wild brushes so you can get all of these at the dollar tree these are amazing you guys and i'm sure you're like stop we know stop telling us i just have to keep talking about them because they're so good and they're only a dollar so I have the large concealer brush, which is my favorite for blending out underneath the eyes. It's really good if you're like cleaning up underneath your eyes, like fixing your lower liner um, eyeshadow. And then I have the contour brush, which is really nice for, of course, contouring, bronzer. I have like four of these because they're so good. The small eyeshadow brush, really good for cleaning up the brows with concealer and also just applying any sort of like shimmery eyeshadow or any sort of like cream eyeshadow. So good for that. Then I have here the Smoky Liner Brush, which is amazing also for cleaning up the brows. And if you want to use it to smoke out your lower lash line, you could totally do that. But I really like it for cleaning up concealer. I use the crease brush today in my crease. You guys know that it is my jam. I actually have them here. I have about three to four of these and I just constantly rotate them. And I think I've told you guys this before, but some of them at the Dollar Tree are cut differently. So make sure you look at the cut of the brush. Like this one's fluffier and I actually like that. Whereas this one's a little bit more on the smaller dome side, which is good for if you want to have like a little bit of a tighter color in your crease. So just take note of that. So I'm actually giving these away in today's video. If you guys have never tried these, you are definitely in for a treat. They are just so, so good. Such soft, amazing brushes. And I'm going to leave the link down below like I've been doing all week if you guys want to enter to win these four Wet n Wild Another brushes. item I want to talk about, it's kind of like a beauty product rather than a makeup item. It's this really cute mirror here and it has such a cute design on it. Well, my husband told me before that it looked a little bit like Beauty and the Beast and I was like, yes, how pretty. It's very like intricate and I thought how fun would this be if you're having like a bridal shower that's a beauty theme or some sort of party. This would make like the cutest favor, but I'm definitely going to use this when I'm doing my makeup because it's just so cute. I mean, it's not the most like heavy, like kind of luxurious thing. Like obviously it's more of a cheaper item looking for a handheld mirror i say definitely get this one because it's only a dollar and it's fun i don't know i just really like it next up are these elf shine eraser oil blotting sheets they just got a big new elf display at my dollar tree and i noticed this and i had never tried these before and what i like about these is that there is green tea extract in here and it says it's supposed to help retexturize the skin masking facial imperfections it eliminates shine which these oil blotting sheets tend to do that it keeps you matte and it also says it's a pore minimizer so those are some big claims for an oil blotting sheet for sure um but i will say i don't know if it minimizes my pores i can't tell yet but what i can tell you guys is that 
this really works to take the shine off of your face I was using one before and literally my oil soaked up the whole sheet I didn't even have makeup on yet that's how oily my skin is um but these really really work and I like that there's no mineral oil in here because the clean and clear ones that I used to use like back in high school those actually have mineral oil inside of them. Mineral oil tends to break me out so I stay away from it. So I like that these only have three ingredients in them because it makes me just feel like it's not going to break out my skin when I use them. And this is what they look like when you open them up. They have a little bit of like a speckled print. I like that these are so affordable and that they actually get rid of the oil on my face so I'm not packing on more powder throughout the day and looking more cakey. Um, I would prefer to kind of use these just because it will get rid of that shine and also it doesn't take off my makeup in the process of using these. Next thing I want to talk about is this LA Colors liquid eyeliner. So this is a black liquid eyeliner. This has a brush tip rather than a felt tip and I actually think I prefer this brush tip just because I feel like it, while it's not for someone who might be a beginner, it's probably for someone who's more advanced because you could totally just like go crazy with this and have it all like black on your eye. But for me, since I've been doing wing liner for a while now, um, it's pretty easy for me to use. But I like how I can control it easily with my hand. I can really kind of make that thin wing and shape that I'm looking for. And it's pretty black. I'm wearing it today on my eyes and I love the way that my wing turned out today. So I find it super easy to use and this actually performs better than a lot of higher end liquid liners that I've tried like from Sephora. So I think it's great and it doesn't dry matte. That's the only downfall. A lot of these liquid liners in this little um, inkwell don't dry matte. They dry more of a glossy finish. I'm definitely going to continue to keep on using this, keep on purchasing it. It's something I would definitely use on a daily basis. I think it looks really good. So Okay, next is the Wet n Wild Hot Red Lipstick. So I talked about these a bit when I did Wet n Wild Week, but how pretty is this red? It's almost like a pinkier kind of red, and I think it's really flattering. If you're scared to wear red, I say uh, try one with a pinky undertone like this because it kind of just makes it softer, a little bit easier to wear. And the formula on these are super creamy, so you don't have to be afraid about your lips drying out. I feel like my lips right now are really moisturized so I really like the formula on this lipstick I forgot to tell you guys the names of these this is the silk finish lipstick I like the glossy look it gives to my lips these are pretty decently long-lasting I do find you have to reapply and of course it's going to be um, transferring on to things so if you eat or whatever since it is glossy and not matte it's gonna end up getting you know off your lips so you're gonna have to reapply it but I think this color is really gorgeous. I really was a little bit afraid to wear this. I didn't know how it was going to look on me because I stay in my safe, like, neutral, nude, pink comfort zone. So this is definitely something a little bit different for me. I love how chic this color is. It's very flattering, super pretty, and very wearable. And honestly, these are really pigmented. So if you're looking for a good affordable lipstick then this one is going to really be a good option for you and I was really impressed with the quality of it. Okay next is this Bonnebelle lip blush in Serene Strawberry and this is like a little tinted shimmery chapstick kind of shade. Oh, it smells like strawberries and it reminds me of when I was younger because I used to always use Bonnebelle products. It was like my first makeup item that I ever use like lip smackers. This is like a sophisticated grown-up version of lip smackers. So if you are like an adult who's around the same age as me that you probably use Bonnebelle too. So this is going to make you feel very nostalgic but also you could totally wear this and not feel weird. Like I have a bunch of the Bonnebelle ones that say like cake batter and I'm like I can't really bring that out in public. But this I could totally put in my makeup bag. I could whip it out in public and not feel like a five-year-old. And it has like really cute packaging like the black tube. The color too is really pretty. It has like a very very subtle shimmer to it. Really good just for like a no makeup day or if you just want to moisturize your lips before lipstick. So this is my 10th product in the top 10 Dollar Tree makeup items. These are the Sensitive Skin Cleansing Wipes and it says that you can compare these to the Simple brand which I haven't used those but anyways why I like these. These have no parabens, chemicals, or dyes in them and I always try to avoid face wipes that have parabens in them. There was another kind at the Dollar Tree that was retinol infused, but it had parabens. I saw these and I was like, ooh, 
These look really nice. These also have vitamin E. You get 25 in here. I had totally run out of cleansing wipes and I was looking for some and I actually really like these. So they're not too wet, but they're not too dry. And to me, that's really important. Sometimes you get a wipe that's too dry and then sometimes you don't want to be like wringing out the water from the face wipe all over your face when you're trying to clean off your makeup. So I like these just to get off that first layer of makeup, especially if you wear like a fuller coverage foundation like I do, you need to like pre-cleanse. So these have been doing the job for me and I like that there's no harsh chemicals in here. And also it's good for removing swatches too if you just want something to take off makeup swatches with if you're like a YouTuber or a beauty blogger. Um, there's no offensive scent to them. It's very light. My face doesn't sting because my skin sometimes gets a little bit sensitive. I don't get all red. And it's just really nice to get off that first layer of foundation before I go in with my cleanser. Okay, some of the things to avoid. I have just a couple things here. And there's another item I tried. It's the LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. On this side you have a lipstick. It has like a cherry fruity scent to it which is pretty nice but the lipstick it's not too pigmented not too opaque i had to like layer and layer and layer and then on this side you have this gloss which looks pretty when you look at it in the tube but it was literally like putting on clear gloss you can't see any of that pretty gold shimmer that's in there i just felt like it was taking away whatever i could get out of this lipstick it kind of took away the coverage of the lipstick and didn't give me any like pretty glisteny shine. I would say avoid this because I really don't think it's that great. Um, the color is pretty, but this is a pass for me. I say go with the Wet n Wild lipstick instead. Another item I say to completely avoid is these LA Colors nail polish remover pads. Of course I was excited about these because they're strawberry scented and they smell good. They don't smell like nail polish remover and they're convenient. So I thought maybe for travel, um, these would be really good, but they're horrible. You guys, they do not take off your nail polish at all. Not even a little bit. I don't even know if there's like any sort of acetone in here because when I tried it, it was literally like rubbing oil on my fingers. So all it does is just make your fingers really greasy, which might be good if you want to like moisturize your cuticles but the whole purpose was to take off my nail polish and it didn't do it all right guys so those are my top 10 dollar tree makeup items that i have really been loving and also some products just to avoid let me know in the comments down below if i missed anything are there any dollar tree makeup products that i should be checking out that are really good hidden gems let me know. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more Dollar Tree videos like this and you enjoyed this one, please give this video a big thumbs up. And thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. So, we're at the end away to nothing. Wow. The top 10 beauty makeup product. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. Your remote and your headset. A brush tip rather thank you